Hey Scratchy Babes, welcome back to another video from the Scratchy Girls ASMR and Toy channel. If you're new here, thank you for watching and hopefully you subscribed and shared the walk with your family and friends. So today guys, we have obviously Scratchy Girl Passion here and we actually wanted to come to you today and talk about the significance of the pink towel or the hot pink towel, no pun intended. So we have a lot of um, other subs that have asked about the significance of the towel and those that of you that have been here under our care before, if you know, you just know. <laughs> so anyways, <clears throat> the hot towel um, for us, it really signifies um, a warm hug, if you will. Really being that the service that we offer anyways is really reminiscent of a lot of our childhood memories. And so from my experience, you know, most of you, us, received this caring treatment from a loved one our mom, our grandmother, um, cousins, aunties, you name it. And so those people are the ones that love us and that we love, right? And so um, we just thought that would be a nice layer to the fond memories that um, we all kind of share in common. And um, we wanted to touch on um, you know that significance and so besides that there really is you know no other significance other than the fact that we couldn't imagine a luxurious spa treatment um we considered incomplete without some type of warm or hot compress or towel steam room sauna you name it just wouldn't be complete in our opinion so but we really wanted to talk a bit about, um, you know, the tradition of foot baths or feet washing, <clears throat> excuse me, which is common in a lot of um, cultures and traditions. And so, you know, when we use the hot towel on the back, you know, of course, we're wiping down other parts of the body, your feet, and Ironically, in a lot of cultures, that um, signified royalty. You know, the royalty treatment. Do you guys hear the thunder that's going on outside? It's pretty amazing to sit here and do the voice over in this energy. I get distracted um, on certain little things, guys, pardon me. But anyways, um, did you know that the early Christian church introduced um, the custom of feet washing um, as a, to imitate the humility and the selfless love of God? And so that in itself just really resonated with me because, you know, we love what we do and we love, you know, making people feel welcomed or loved, you know, and important. And so for us, it just kind of took the hot pink towel thing to another level. So, um, you know, there, um, and so, you know, what I like to share is, you know, I had to Google it, you know, what, you know, cultures or what history, you know, goes with the tradition of feet washing. Um, and so although the washing of the feet imitates Jesus's act of love for his disciples on the night before he was crucified. And so it was, uh, you know, it was not a reenactment of that moment, you know, of his life, but it was a ritual that signifies our participation and his mission of love and service to one another. And, you know, we found that, you know, that 
act of love or kindness, you know, amongst others truly are needed these days. You know, we have so many people that live alone or that are um, recluses or introverts. You know, they don't really have a lot of interaction with people. And those of you that find yourself safe with us, um, it's an absolute honor and pleasure for you to feel that way in the company or care of the Scratcher Girls, considering the fact that you're not really one to be around a lot of people or maybe even trust a lot of people. And so I think the Tao would even signify that as well. You know, that's kind of like the first gesture in helping you to trust us, you know, while in our care. So, you know, that could be viewed as just that, you know, welcoming gesture, you know, something to break the ice, you know, if you will, of the awkwardness of just encountering someone for the first time. So, um, you know, the, the, that very act within itself, you know, um, the thought of it is just amazing. So um, I personally have gone to a, a foot washing or foot, foot bathing ceremony um, when I was a bit younger, and this was in the church. It was a special uh, segment in the church service um, that kind of went along with communion. And I thought it was such an honor to participate in that type of ceremony. And I just wonder, you know, why we don't practice more of those rituals in our society or in our culture, right? Um, just to make people feel wanted and cared for. Um, my little poppy chulo here is trying to grab my attention. <laughs> He keeps bringing his little balls over. So if you hear his little snort, um, that's just my little guy. But anyways, <clears throat> pardon me. I found that um, that tradition also derived from the South, in North Carolina in particular. And so it goes that the practice involved bathing the feet of a fellow church member and it is usually followed by words of support um, and fellowship between the individuals that are involved. And when I researched that and I thought about it, I thought, how awesome is that, you know, to, um, for two people to again share such an intimate moment, you know, such an innocent, intimate moment kind of like what we share with you guys here in the studio, as well as here on YouTube. You know, it's pretty amazing for two people that may not have anything in common besides the present moment, you know, to share such an innocent um, and loving um, act in that moment. So, there you have it, guys, with the hot towel for us. So, um, you know, everything that we do has, you know, meaning or significance behind it. You know, we close the session with a hot towel um, that's white. Um, and I think for us that just, you know, signifies the purity of the act that had just taken place with the scratch therapy. Because in all honesty, when you think about it, our scratch therapy services are truly, truly intimate acts between ourselves and the client is such an intimate act. You know, when you think about it, you know, your, your body is your temple. You know, it's your private space and it's your safe space. 
And so it's like allowing a stranger beyond the welcoming red door of your home. You know, it's, it's, you're welcoming strange energy into your place of peace, right? And so your body is a temple of peace. And so we just help to seal that wonderful, wonderful truth. You know, we try to take you beyond the right now and beyond the moment. And you have to have a certain level of comfort in order to allow someone to do that. I mean, look at the way Scratch a Girl Passion is written. You know, running her fingers through this gentleman's hair and, you know, just rubbing on his forehead. That's, that's his personal space, right? Those are acts that someone would do that you're familiar with and you would allow them to do that. So we don't take what we do lightly at all, guys. We completely get it and we understand and we couldn't give you enough thank yous. Um, so we just invite you guys, if you can, to try our scratch therapy for yourselves. It's such a phenomenal service. And we are just working on making, making it even more grand, spectacular, and just an all around amazing experience. So. You have your voiceover from Mother Scratch. I hope that it met your expectations or exceeded your expectations because let's face it, that's what we should be going for these days, exceeding our expectations. So you guys enjoy the rest of the video. We love you. Ciao.